Assalamu alaikum and hello what is up guys this is imat and today's video is about future restore gui so guys future restore gui is an app or tool which will let you downgrade or update to unsigned ios versions using sh sh blobs so guys it will be a lot easier when you will have to use an application for it because previously you had to use terminal in order to use future restore and it was a bit difficult for some users who are not used to of using terminals on computers so this video will be a lot of help for them as you will be able to use an application to use your shsh blobs to downgrade or update to unsigned ios versions so guys before we start if you are new here then go ahead and hit the subscribe button on the channel and also hit the thumbs up button if the video turns out to help you and turn on notifications for the channel to stay updated on the upcoming videos and also comment down below that which device is going to be future restored by you by the end of the video you can also join the channel to get the membership perks there are four levels with different prices and guys you can also support the channel by other ways by transferring the funds to my bank or pioneer or squill you can find all of the links in the description so without any further delay let's get right into the video and start the process of future restoring my iphone 10 to the unsigned ios 14.3 so guys first of all let's talk about the compatibility of future restore with your device so a10 and lower devices which means iphone 7 and 7 plus and older devices can be restored to any version from ios 14.0 to ios 14.5 beta at the moment whereas a11 and higher devices which means iphone 10 and newer devices can only be restored to ios 14.3 and higher versions at the moment and guys also ios 14.2 restores for some people have been successful but it's gonna be a hit or miss situation so you might end up in a failed restore so that's why it is recommended to only restore to ios 14.3 and guys also ios 14.1 and ios 14.0 and ios 14.0.1 are completely incompatible with a11 and higher devices and as mentioned earlier you can also contact me on twitter if you face any issue and here i will be updating you about when ios 14.2 restores are recommended on a11 and higher so go ahead and hit the follow button and you can also dm me if you face any issue i will be glad to help so guys first of all it is recommended to go to settings and sign out of your apple account for that go to your apple id and here hit on sign out and after that you will have to enter your itunes password so i'm gonna enter it now so after entering your password click on turn off then it will turn off find my iphone and will also sign you out of the apple id so just give it a few seconds so i'm gonna click on sign out again so guys now it has signed me out of the itunes account so after that i would recommend you to take a complete backup of your device you can use itunes icloud or any third party service you prefer so you will have to take a complete backup of your device although the process that i'm gonna be showing you won't erase any of your data but still it is recommended to take a complete backup of your device because this is software and softwares include risk so now let's start the process and get our files ready so first of all guys you need to get the files ready so for that you will have to open your browser and keep in mind that this video supports all operating systems windows linux and mac os so after that you will have to go to the johnny clay's github and here you will have to go to future restore gui i will be giving the link in the description so here scroll down and you will have to find the releases then click here and after that scroll down and here you will have to download the mac zip for mac os windows zip for windows and the universal works for all operating systems and if you are using it on linux then what you'll have to do is you're gonna have to make it executable first for that you will have to write chmod space plus space x and then you will have to drag the jar file to the terminal to make it executable so after that guys what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just download the future restore gui mag zip so i have already downloaded it so i don't have to download it again so the second thing we need are the blobs it is the most important thing that we will need in this tutorial so for that you can get your blobs from tss saver or sh sh host so i have saved my iphone 10's blobs on tss saver so i'm gonna prefer that so to get my ecid i'm gonna launch itunes and then i'm gonna go to my devices section 
then I'm gonna tap twice on the serial number to get the EC ID and then I'm gonna paste it here so guys keep in mind that if you're on a12 or higher devices then you will also need the app nonce value so to get the app nonce value you can see my video the link is in the description i have told how to save the blobs for a12 and higher devices and also the a11 and lower devices so i have selected my iphone 10 device then i'm gonna click on submit so if you're on a12 or higher then it will look something like this and you will have to enter your app nonce value here so after that i'm gonna click on submit and it's asking me about something and i don't know what it is which of the pens are closest in the length so what i think is it is seven by eight length as you can see here so i'm gonna click it then i'm gonna click on next then here is another one so i think it's full length then click on next again this is something I've seen for the first time. It is also, I think, 7 by 8. Then I'm going to click on check. And let's see if I was right. Oh my god, I wish I was that good in my exams also. So after that, I'm going to click on open link. And it will take me to the link where all of my blobs are saved. So here you can see, I can either download the zip file or if I'm downgrading to iOS 14.3, then I can just click on iOS 14.3 and here I can download the zip file which has all of my blobs files. So the third thing that we need is the IPSW file of the version we are restoring to. So for that click on your device type which is iPhone in my case and then select your model which is iPhone 10 GSM in my case. So if you're not sure about your model then what you can do is click on identify my device then scroll down and here you will have to enter your model number so to get your model number open settings on your iphone then go to general then about and then tap on the model number to reveal it so in my case it is a1901 so i'm gonna enter it and here you can see it will take me to iphone 10 gsm so here scroll down and download the IPSW file of the version you are restoring to. In my case, it is iOS 14.3. So I'm gonna go there and then scroll down and click on the download button. And if you are restoring to a beta version, then instead of going to IPSW.me, you will have to go to IPSW.dev to get the beta IPSWs and it will take me there in a second so just wait for it so here you can see now i am in ipsw.dev then scroll down select your device type then you select your device model in my case it's iphone 10 and then i can download the ipsw file of the beta version so mostly the people are downgrading or upgrading to ios 14.3 rc which is 18c65 so here you can find it so the next thing that we have to do is to get our device ready so here you can see that i have already downloaded all of the files here is my blobs file that i'm gonna be using here is the future restore gui mac zip and here is the ipsw file so now we have to set the nose generator value according to our blobs on our device so for that what you'll have to do is right click on your blobs file then click on open with and you will have to open it with a text editor so so once it has opened you will have to press command plus f then type generator and guys keep in mind that for windows you will have to press shift and the f button so you can see that here is my nose generator value which is 0x16 times 1 so i'm gonna copy it to my device and set the nose generator value so you can watch my videos on setting the nose generator value using different methods the methods might be different for chakrain for uncover and for odyssey so you can set your nose generator value accordingly and guys also if your blob doesn't have a nose value so for those people the default value for uncover is 0x 16 times 1 you can use that and for odyssey or chimera users the default value is 0x 34 bd something so i'm going to be giving the nonce value of odyssey and camera also in the description so you can go check it out so guys now we have all of the files ready as you can see here here is the shsh blobs file here is the future restore gui file 
and here is the IPSW file. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uncompress the zip file and we will get the application right here. So I'm gonna open the application now and you might see this error that it is an app downloaded from the internet. So are you sure you want to open it? So click on open and if you still cannot open it then just go to system preferences and here guys you will have to go to security and privacy and here you will get an option that open the application anyway or no you will see it right here so after that i'm gonna close it and here is the future restore gui so as you all know that future restore is giving an error that it is unable to detect your device in recovery mode when you have put it in recovery mode successfully so to get rid of this error and save your time you can push your device into recovery mode you can either do that manually or you can use any third party software i'm gonna be using rayboot pro for that i'm gonna enter my device into recovery mode and then i will start the process so just wait for my device to boot into recovery mode now so as you guys can see that right now my device is connected to the macbook and i'm just waiting for it to be in recovery mode so here it is so now my device is in recovery mode so i'm gonna quit reboot and after that here you will have to have the latest future restore file for that you can click on download future restore and it will start downloading the latest future restore file so here you can see that it is downloading future restore so after that click on select blob file and you will have to go to the folder where your file is placed in my case it is on desktop in future restore gui and here is my blobs file so after that click on select target ipsw file and here you will have to go to the folder where the ipsw file is placed in my case it's in the same folder so i'm gonna select the ipsw file so after that guys if you will click on the update option it will just update your device and you won't lose any of your data but if you will uncheck it it will restore your device and you will lose all of the data as your device will be wiped so what i'm gonna do next is i'm gonna click on update and then i'm gonna select the latest baseband and latest step so if you will manually specify them then you will have to select the build manifest also so after that guys everything is ready as you can see here that future restore version 194 has been downloaded we have selected the blobs file we have selected the target ipsw file we have set the latest baseband and latest step and we have also checked the update option so the next thing to do is to start future restore so i'm gonna click on start future restore so your future restores version 194 would you like to ensure this is the latest version marijuana's fork so you can click on yes to verify it but i know that it is the latest version so i'm just gonna save some time and click on no and after that it will start the process so i'm gonna leave you guys here and i'm gonna fast forward the process until the process finishes and we will be booted into ios 14.3 and our device will be updated and we wouldn't lose any of our data so here you can see that now it's downloading this step and after that it will continue the process so guys if you feel that you have to stop the future restore process then you can press here but it will be unsafe because if it has started processing the data and uh, flashing the firmware then your device will break and you will have to restore it to the latest ios version using itunes so now it's downloading baseband so i'm gonna leave it here and i'm gonna fast forward the process now so guys now it's done with extracting the file system from the ipsw file and now it's gonna continue the process our device will reboot and it will start flashing the firmware on my device and it will take at least five to ten minutes so don't worry about it and your device will turn on in ios 14.3 or whichever version you are restoring to but if you have followed the instructions carefully otherwise you will see an error and if you see an error then make sure you find my twitter account and reach me out there I will be glad to help. So guys it is almost done and now my device is restarting once. 
So as you can see now the restoring has succeeded as you guys can see on the screens and now my device will just turn in iOS 14.3 which is unsigned right now. So guys now my device has turned on in iOS 14.3 and we didn't even lose any data because we used the update flag. So isn't it amazing you can restore to unsigned iOS versions and you won't even lose any data and this is by far the most easiest method to use feature restore without having to use terminal. It makes it so easy and for those people who are new to it, it makes it easier for them also as they won't do any error while feature restoring their device. So let me show you that right now I am on iOS 14.3 18C66 which is the official version and here you can see that even this name is still iMatch iPhone. So this is the easiest method yet to use feature restore on Windows, on macOS or on Linux. And you can see that even the uncover application is still here and we can still jailbreak our device. So guys, I really hope that this video helped you out. If this video helped you, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button on the channel and also hit the thumbs up button and also comment down below that which device are you gonna be using this video for you can also join the channel to get the membership perks there are four levels with different prices and guys you can also support the channel by other ways by transferring the funds to my bank or pioneer or skrill you can find all of the links in the description so until next time this is imat peace out